The Rasengan is a spinning sphere of chakra that is considered as a high level jutsu in Naruto. But what if I told you this iconic jutsu isn't just anime fantasy, but parts of it are actually backed by real world physics. In the anime, Rasengan is created by rotating chakra, focusing a point on the palm at a very high speed, basically like a miniature hurricane. So, can we create a Rasengan? Let's find out the physics behind Rasengan. Let's talk about rotational energy. In physics, a spinning object stores energy based on how fast it spins. This is called kinetic energy or rotational kinetic energy. This depends on the angular velocity and the moment of inertia of that object. As we see in Rasengan, the chakra rotates at a very high angular velocity. That stores a lot of energy in form of a sphere. And when something spinning hits a target, it transfers all that energy with the impact in a split second. That's called impulse. When a huge amount of force is applied for a short amount of time, that's called impulse. This packs a very big impact on the target, so does the Rasengan. In real lab, scientists can spin things insanely fast. They have even built tiny rotors that spin millions of times per minute faster than jet engines. They have even confined plasma in giant magnetic rings to make fusion energy. That's like creating a Rasengan but the size of a building. But here's the catch. Us humans can store or spin energy like that in open space. There's no way to contain that kind of power in mid-air without it tearing itself apart. To contain that much of energy, we need a barrier like a magnetic field. Without a barrier, the energy will explode creating a massive explosion. So unless we control energy like Naruto does, Rasengan is not our cup of tea. So the question is, is Rasengan actually scientifically accurate? It kinda is because it's built on real physics like rotational energy and impact force. So yes, theoretically it can be possible to make a Rasengan but it would take sci-fi level of technology to achieve that feat. For now, making one is just a futuristic fantasy for us. <laughs>